So you just got Dolly and you want to generate high quality images. Now you only get 50 images sets that you can uh, use sets of four. Uh, so you want to do your best to get the best quality images possible. This is your guide. First and foremost, you want to head over to Reddit. Reddit is fantastic for inspiration. Get yourself as much inspiration concerning what's going on out there and it will help you generate really high quality stuff. Let, let me get out of the way really quick and go ahead and check this out. So first things first, you want to go click on top and then click on all time and you'll be able to see the best of all time. Now, sometimes you might want to do this month because Dolly 2 is actually improving, it's changing, it's getting better. And so, um, you know, uh, definitely think about that, consider that. Let's go to, I'm going to go to all time for this case. And uh, yeah, it's just great set of inspiration. You can take the prompt and modify them accordingly uh, and see what you want to do. Uh, I'll give you an example here of a really well done one. 50 millimeter wide angle lens photo of a rapper in 1990s New York holding a kitten up to the camera, right? So this really, really well done photo here, um, th they were really specific about exactly the type of lens all that stuff that they wanted a photo. If you want something photorealistic, you have to say that. Use the words photo, use the words realistic. If you want something more stylized, use the words digital art. Or if you want a um, 3D object, you can say 3D render, right? So use those sort of things. You're gonna, that's gonna make all of the difference for you. Uh, it's gonna empower you greatly. So, um, so go to Reddit for inspiration, first and foremost. Number two, use real photo settings. So. If you want to go deep in this and you want real specific photo settings, go onto Flickr and just search something. Search something that you want and it gives you the photo settings down below. I've had to block those images because of copyright reasons, but basically down here you can see it gives you all the settings. You can put in that you're using a Canon EOS 600D at f1.4 uh, stop. So I'll just basically explain that, you know, the shutter of a camera, uh, it's going to open and close and that's going to let in more light and less light the more open it is uh, the more blurry the image can be if you don't stabilize the camera um, so you know all those kind of things make a difference and that's what these settings signify so let's say you're one of those classic images of like um, cars going through streets and where the the light beams come after them you want that sort of thing you can search that here find the settings that they use with the camera put that exact thing in to dolly it'll help you an absolute ton uh, get your exact result. Now, uh, there's one thing I like to do personally when I'm in Dolly, um, and it, it just helps you get your results a little. There's a specific uh, type of prompt that really helps. So I'm just going to go here to my first one. So Sigma 85 millimeter f 1.4 stop tends to give you a really good high quality photo. Uh, so that's my recommendation here. Uh, this was a specific one I used for a YouTube thumbnail. And uh, you can give that a try and it'll give you some really good quality results. Again, Sigma 84 millimeter. I'll get it right in front of you. Um, F 1.4 stop. Really, really helpful uh, to get that going. Uh, so a YouTube video thumbnail in which a pretty woman who just graduated from college. This was supposed to be sad, uh, but I think it got the point anyway. It's very sad and disappointed while holding their drooping diploma. So. Be that specific. Get as much detail in there as you possibly can. Last thing I'm going to say, uh, if, you know, uh, a strong uh, young white male holding up a trophy ends up with this sort of thing, Dolly is having a hiccup <laughs> and just don't use it for like six hours because you can see here this is nothing like what I was ordering uh, and that sometimes happens. Last thing I'll say, you can unpack uh, a style. So let's say you want, for example, uh, something that looks like what Vincent van Gogh does, right? Now, you can ask AI to describe to you what Vincent van Gogh does and then break off bits and pieces and say, okay, I want this to look like Vincent van Gogh, but I want certain changes. This is some, it's a product by the same company, OpenAI, and it's really smart. And uh, I'll just show you how it works. So basically describe the style of Vincent van Gogh. I put that in and it's gonna write here, uh, you know, it's characterized by expressive brush strokes, intense, vivid colors. You can take stuff like expressive brush strokes and vivid colors and, uh, you know, all of those kind of things. And you can incorporate those in your prompt and get something that you really want. Uh, so, yeah, those are really helpful. Um, the other ones, again, you know, uh, ask for photorealism, ask for a 3D render, ask for exactly what you want. Uh, be really particular about it. Uh, don't just leave it like this. Uh, oh, yeah, 3D render. I do have 3D render there, but uh, 
ideally speaking, be really specific. Digital art, 3D render, photorealistic. I'm going to leave the next video in the middle of the screen right now. Helpful tips and helpful alternatives to this, this program if you can't get in yet.